Fourteen government soldiers were killed in the Pakistani region known as North Waziristan after a roadside bomb hit an army convoy Sunday morning. It's been called the worst attack on the Pakistani military ever. The BBC and Sky News report. Twenty other soldiers were wounded in the attack and at least one vehicle was totally destroyed. North Waziristan is the main sanctuary for Al-Qaeda and Taliban militants in Pakistan. The attack happened a day after the Taliban's leader in Pakistan called for attacks on soldiers to stop. According to the New York Times, the toll from the bombing was one of the largest suffered by the Pakistani military during operations in the tribal belt in recent times, and it followed a week of militant attacks in other cities that left more than 130 people dead. The Telegraph explains the attack adds to an already sore discussion point between Pakistani leaders and officials in the U.S. Pakistan is under pressure from the U.S. to launch a ground offensive in North Waziristan against the Haqqanis, which pose one of the deadliest threats to American forces inside Afghanistan. But according to Al Jazeera, in the country where 35,000 people have been killed as a result of terrorism since the 9-11 attacks on the U.S., the military is worried that if it targets its enemies in the region, that could trigger a backlash, whereby other fighters in the area turn against the government. CNN reports no group has immediately claimed responsibility for the attack, although it is believed to have been carried out by the Taliban. For Newsy, I'm Candace Aviles, Multiple Sources, The Real Story.